In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update WordPress, WordPress themes as well as WordPress plugins. Most other times, WordPress themes or WordPress plugins require updates as a result of new features that have been added to them. Also, WordPress or themes or plugins may require updates as a result of security reasons. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update all these resources. Now, having logged into my website, I see this notification. WordPress 6.6.2 is available. Please update now. Now, if I come over to the top here, that is the admin bar, I see how much of updates I have. I can also see down here, updates. And you see, I have eight. So it means that I have eight resources to be updated. And this may include WordPress, Teams, as well as plugins. Now, if I hover on appearance, under teams, you see that I have one attached to it. It means that I have a team to be updated. And that number is inclusive of the total updates here. Also, if I come over to plugins, you see I have six. So this six here, plus the one we have under teams is seven. So if I'm having eight, it means that WordPress itself requires an update. So let me show you how we can do that. First of all, let's start with WordPress. So if I come over to updates, Right here, we see all the resources we need to update. For instance, we have update WordPress to version 6.6.2. At the moment, I'm using version 6.5.5. Going down, these are the various six plugins that require updates. And finally, the one team that requires an update. For WordPress, we can easily go ahead and update it from here. And then the plugins and teams we can go to their respective pages to update them or you can also update them from here so first of all let's start with wordpress all what i need to do is click on update to version 6.6.2 it should be noted that before you do this you have to back up your website and to back up your website i'll leave a link to a video that will show you how you can back up your wordpress website now the update is successful so you don't see the notification on top right here anymore and if you check the number of updates I have, it's now reduced from 8 to 7. If I go over to dashboard, right here, you see 7. So it means that I have plugins and teams to be updated. Now, if I go back to the updates, you see that I don't have WordPress to be updated anymore. Next, from here, I can select all the plugins at once. Or I can select the particular ones I want to update like this. Then I go ahead and click on update plugins. I just want to show you how we can update the rest at the plugins page. So now it is enable maintenance mode as the plugin is being updated. So Elementor is updated, Links Whisper is updated, and the rest. Now let's go back to WordPress updates page. Take note earlier we are having six plugins to be updated. We are able to update three, now we are left with three. So let's go to the plugins page and update them from there. So if I go over to plugins, going down, this is a particular plugin we want to update from here. I can select it like this. Then I go to bulk actions, click on update, then apply. And they will begin to update as you can see. Or better still, I can just come over here and click on update now. Either way, they will all take you to the same place. You see that it is updated. Now I have one resources to be updated and that is the team. So I can equally go over to team. From here, I can just go ahead and click on update now. And now we are done. One other thing I want to show you is that you can enable auto updates such so that you don't have to worry yourself coming back every time when there's a new update. So I'll just go ahead and click on enable auto updates. And now it's telling me that automatic updates schedule in three hours. So if there's a new update, I will receive them. Now I can do the same thing to plugins by going to plugins. I can select all the plugins I have on my website like this. Then I go over to bulk actions, enable auto updates. Then I click on apply. And now each time there's an update with regards to any of these plugins, I don't have to come back to do them manually. Awesome. So that's it on how you can update WordPress, themes, as well as plugins. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. In the meantime, stick around to watch another video, YouTube things you should watch next.